It's one of the prisons that is locked down the most, one of the prisons with the most oppressive conditions for prisoners. These prisoners, after years and years of brutality, of inadequate housing, inadequate food, decided to stand up today, July 1st, and launch a hunger strike, an indefinite hunger strike, to protest these conditions. And that's what brings us here today. Uh, I'm a revolutionary. I'm someone that thinks that this whole capitalist system, from its foundation all the way to the top, is a rotten system. And it's a system that has to be overthrown when the time is right. I'm a communist. I think that the solution to this is a revolution that overthrows the system when the time is right and establishes a socialist state that is actually trying to uproot all of the inequalities. And what the prisoners are doing today is an important example that needs to be followed. These so-called worst of the worst, these so-called criminals and animals, are standing up for the humanity of others. And more people need to be doing that. And we need to learn from these prisoners, some of which are revolutionaries themselves. These prisoners receive this newspaper, Revolution newspaper, on a regularly regular basis. But recently, this newspaper was banned in Pelican Bay Prison. This newspaper was supposedly banned for encouraging violence and for, and for dividing races when it's actually this system and the guards who are the ones that promote the most violence and the most division among inmates themselves. This newspaper brings inmates together and brings them together to fight the system, fight the power, and not each other. And it's something that's important and needs to be supported. These hunger strikers, their demands need to be met. The prisoners today, July 1st, this is when they started their hunger strike. It's planned to be an indefinite hunger strike until their demands are met, which means that some of the prisoners, all of the prisoners that are taking part in the hunger strike, are prepared to die if necessary so that their demands are met. They won't stop the hunger strike until their demands are met. The prison, the prison guards have been taunting the prisoners. They have a special 4th of July menu for the prison, which is hot links, strawberry shortcake, and ice cream. These prisoners cut, some of them haven't seen a strawberry in 30 or 40 years because this system has them in such oppressive conditions. And now when they go on hunger strike, they're taunting them and trying to get them to give up before the protest even started, they release this menu. And we know through historical experience that this system uses forceful means to crush any form of resistance. Like in Guantanamo Bay Prison, the military prison in Guantanamo, where they force fed prisoners that went on hunger strike. This is a very possible consequence that it seems to me the prisoners very well understand and are prepared to face this system and all the repression that it brings against them. But it's an indefinite hunger strike. Uh, well, the revolution has been involved in, in popularizing this resistance and popularizing inmates who are refusing to accept the conditions that they live in all over the country. There have been solidarity protests that revolution newspapers have been involved in. We're in the middle of a fundraising campaign to reach the prisoners who want to subscribe to the revolution These prisoners in Pelican Bay have been fighting for the right to even get the newspaper. And there's also the Prisoners' Revolutionary Literature Fund that's in the middle of a campaign to distribute 2,000 copies of a book called Basics, a book of quotations of Baba Bacon. He's the leader of the Revolutionary Communist Party. And he's, he's someone who is trying to influence the prisoners and trying to, and seeking to lift their sights so that they get out of the conditions that they live in and begin to fight for the interests of humanity as a whole. So there is a party, a revolutionary communist party that's the vanguard for revolution in this country. 
country, and it's actually organizing a movement for revolution that includes prisoners and people outside of the walls, standing up against this system and ultimately, when the time is right, overthrowing this system and replacing it with a much more just socialist state as a transition to communism. Los hermanos latinos y los hermanos negros tenemos un futuro en común. Este es el futuro de la revolución. Está malo tirar el dedo, acusar a nuestros hermanos que viven en el barrio por las cosas que hacen. Más al contrario, tenemos que juntarnos para hacer la revolución. Para hacer la revolución que nos lleve a un mundo comunista diferente. Hay más de 2 millones de personas jóvenes en las cárceles de los Estados Unidos. La mayoría de ellos son negros y latinos. Estos hermanos están injustamente abusados, torturados en estas prisiones del mundo. Es hora de juntarnos, hermanos. El pueblo negro y el pueblo latino es uno mismo. Tiene un mismo futuro. El futuro de la revolución. El futuro de transformar el mundo. Trying to make this work for free. 
Lock it down for liberty against the prison industry. This is modern slavery. We're trying to make the work for free. So, uh, the, the rapping part just started. <laughs> if we want to get on. Yeah. I'll do another one. We're about to get marching soon. We're about to march soon. Okay, here's a little something I got for you guys. Man, it's sad to think that all my people is dying. My homie lying on the street while his mother is crying. Every tear that is shed, another politician lying. Looking at me like a criminal because I'm surviving. We just thriving, shipping and hustling coca. Cause the government's not giving us everything they're supposed to. We told you motherfuckers that we gon' fight back. Can't you see the world press and that's the reason we bust back? Some smoke crack to deal with the pain and numb they brain. Cause the cops they keep on watching, making me go insane. Will it ever change? Shit, I'm hoping someday that one day we'll be free from this place. And not to have to worry about getting shot in my face. And not to have them boys arresting me for my race. Cause god damn it. I'm sick of this shit, why do I only feel safe for the full loaded clip? Even though I am a man, they treat me like a beast. We screaming out for help, but they rather see us deceased. It's up to us to change the world. Fuck the diamonds and the motherfucking pearls, it's time we get up. Stand up, fuck it, throw your hands up. You know the solution, we need a revolution. Yeah, we ain't looking for no handouts. We fighting for our just dues. I represent the Vanguard, the front line of revolution. We don't need they nooses. We got our own solutions. Oppression and depression suggested that we ain't human. Pick up yourself by the straps of your boots. Perhaps the blacks will fight back if they get back to their roots. Back to recruit like you we do. Cause they rather have a some some more. Black on black bag stepping. Black on black shoes. Not the going. A hoo-hoo. Dreaming folks in the struggle. I'm tired of fool. And I miss Jews and burying brothers. Life is struggle with 